Hello everyone and welcome to Ballads and Bards Bookhouse's uh, YouTube channel. I am C.A. Watts and today I am talking to you about self-publishing titans and finding niche scores to find the best possible content for your low content or no content book for Amazon's KDP. Now, if you recently saw our uh, Amazon announcement, Ballads and Bards has now gotten into developing an entire range of gorgeous journals, notebooks, music composition books, and sketchbooks that are all um, designed by us using Canva. And this research is pivotal to ensuring that you are finding an appropriate market for your designs and that you're also using appropriate keywords to make sure that your designs can be found on Amazon easily. So welcome to Self-Publishing Titans. This was where I found them. They are a Facebook page and I joined their group, KDP Authors and Low Content Book Creation Help by Self-Publishing Titans. Now they have a link on their website. However, you can also message them over Facebook and they will send you the 8.5 inch by 11 inch free downloadable um, interior pages for a music composition notebook, a journal, a wide ruled notebook, and a college ruled notebook. So already you have four different formats that you can package up and put a beautiful cover on and start selling on Amazon. So once you have uh, checked out self-publishing Titans, you can also follow their link to their tools. Both of these are Chrome extensions. So you get the niche data and keyword research extension and the keyword search suggestion expander. Now, as you can see, I've already got them up here. And what that means is that when I get onto Amazon and start looking for something, it will automatically start telling me what I need to know about those specific things. So I found that um, when it comes to our Ballads and Bards logo, it has very uh, specific imagery. So we have the raven or crow. And so let's see what happens if we put that into a journal. Now you can see that if we have a raven or crow journal, these are keyword suggestions for when we are typing that um, into our uh, Amazon account when we are uploading a book. So if you saw our video on um, our YouTube channel where I went through the uploading of a low content book, which uh, was released at the same time as this video. So if you haven't seen it yet, then go and check it out. Then you will see that at the very bottom of that very first page, it's seven boxes all for your keywords. And so when you're typing in a description of what you're selling, this specific uh, Chrome extension will show you all of these different keyword suggestions for you to fill those boxes with. Now, the closest one that fits us is Raven or Crow Decor. Funnily enough, my mother-in-law actually purchased this very light. Um, so when you can see that this is, this is very much our aesthetic, we have the Raven sitting on the skull right here, and that is what is seen in the Ballads and Bards logo. Uh, but what we're looking for up here is the second Chrome extension. And this is the niche score and the BSR. The BSR is the best selling rate. So it tells you if that is a relatively high number that um, quite a lot of content within this specific um, search range gets quite a lot of um, best selling scores. Now, there isn't too many results here, 542. 
So if we were to look at Raven Crow Decor and we put that keyword into our Ballads and Bards uh, journal keyword when we were uploading it, then it would come up in one of these um, search pages with all of the Raven or Crow decor. And you can see that by having only 542 results, that's not a lot of results to compete with, which is good for us. And this here is your niche score. The higher the score, the less competition you have, the higher likelihood you have for hitting a very specific market that you don't have a lot of competition in. Now, 52 is quite low, but um, that being said, we can't exactly change our logo now that we have it. But what we can do is uh, tweak these words and see whether or not there are other keywords that get us a higher score, which I have. But when it comes to this research, uh, low content um uploaders, they, they don't give away their secrets. So it is a lot of trial and error. Finding the right keywords, finding that niche of which to design your low content materials in to find uh, a high keyword niche score. Down here, it also gives you information for each product. And so it also shows you um, where it's ranked in each category. So it's even saying that these uh, Raven and Crow decor statues are even ranking as 31,000 in books and 262,000 in books just because of uh, that strong connection between um, Ravens or Crows and books. Thank you very much, Edgar Allan Poe. So uh, that is both of the Chrome extensions delivered to you by Self Publishing Titans. And if you are getting into low content or no content books, it is going to be all about how much work you put into your interiors. If you're doing no content, such as journals, how much effort you put into creating beautiful designs for your covers and making sure that you can find great niches to design those books around. Because if you're finding um, designs that have high niche scores and designing your covers around those, then you are specifically building materials that are going right into a very key market that's selling high currently. So good luck with that, everyone. Feel the spark.